What up guys, it's 777 Garage with you, my name is Ed and today we're working on a BMW 750e38 doing some maintenance stuff so as you can see I removed already inlet manifolds which is quite a bit of a pain because I'll tell you what, you need to take this wiring off that's one thing first that's the literally first step and then you got these little 10 mil nuts over here which is right there looks like that and the most awkward thing is access the bottom ones i mean i'm not sure you can see it's over there you got two nuts per each cylinder so you got 24 nuts to remove and uh, and obviously you need to do that first to access valve cover gaskets that's what we're doing now already changed this side i still need to do that side and then afterwards i'm doing oil change i'm doing uh, rear springs i'm doing front suspension load of new parts so yeah stay tuned start with this valve cover gasket as I said I've changed already one side and as you can see it's literally a plastic and this is the reason why they start to leak and obviously the other side is no 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 better as well I mean I could say it's a bit better but no it's still plastic so we're gonna change that I'm gonna put the inlets and everything back on so before I put everything back together put a new valve cover uh, with the gasket um, Put a bit of a silicon where the timing cover joins every single joint put a silicon there because obviously it's not straight there and you meant to put a silicon just a tiny bit on a, on the corners Okay, got everything back together. So now we're gonna start it up and see if it runs smoothly. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna warm up for oil change. Let's give it a go. So oil is drained and let's crack on with the suspension. So I'm gonna replace that arm, that curly one, and I'm gonna replace steering rack. As you can see it has a steering box and it's controlled by this bar over here. I replace that as well. And yeah, this is most awkward part. I would say I would need to uh, lift the strut up or lower the whole hub down to access that bolt basically just to remove it but yeah it should be fun not the first time anyway I 
have finished the work on this one. So what I have done, I've changed all four flexi brake pipes. I've changed top rear arms, both. I've changed, um, you can see springs with all the top mounts. I haven't changed the shocks, customer didn't want them. Um, that's all at the, at the back. So what we've we done at the front, we have changed steering rack with all the track rod ends, uh, both um, lower arms as well as with the flexi uh, brake pipes. I've changed the bushes as well in here. And also we have done the rocker cover gaskets. And I think I'll finish the video on, at this point. Customers collecting a vehicle tomorrow. Also, there's another 750 customers collecting tomorrow as well. So I think I'll be done for this year. So yeah, I have done with the car. All I gotta do is put a plastic back on, give it a test drive, everything's all right. Uh, give the car to tomorrow for customer. Uh, as you can see, this wasn't a very detailed video, but if you're more interested in how to change uh, anything of it, let's say on e or so any sort of BMW, if I have in stock or whatever, something comes in, I can, I'm more than happy to show you how to. If I obviously know that, I've done it before. So yeah, I'm gonna end up this video right here and I'll see you later.